Hi guys, our learning intention for today is to be able to rationalize a CERD. Let's remind ourselves of our definitions and laws for CERDs. Roots that are irrational are called CERDs. Law 1 states that root A times root B is equal to the square root of A times B. The square root of A divided by the square root of B equals the square root of A divided by B. And law 3 states that the square root of A times itself, so the square root of A times the square root of A equals A. Let's look at an example question. Rationalize the denominator of 5 over root 5. Rationalizing the denominator means writing your fraction where your third is on the numerator. So this is good maths form. We don't like the third to be on the denominator of a fraction. So we rationalize the denominator, which means that we write our fraction where the third will be on the numerator instead of the denominator. To do this, we multiply the top and bottom by the square root of five, or multiply the top and bottom by the third on the bottom. This gives us five times root five divided by root five times root five. And using our third laws, this simplifies to 5 root 5 divided by 5. Cancelling out our 5s, we're left with the square root of 5. To rationalize a denominator, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the third on the denominator. Let's look at another example. Rationalize 3 over root 7. To rationalize this denominator, we multiply the top and bottom by the third on the bottom. So we're multiplying top and bottom by root 7. This leaves us with 3 root 7. Root 7 times root 7 gives us 7. Our third is written on the numerator. We have rationalized our fraction. A conjugate of a value is when you change the sign of the second term. For example, if you have x plus y, the conjugate of this is x minus y. If I have 3 minus root 7, the conjugate of this value is 3 plus root 7. To find the conjugate of any term, we change the second term's sign. 5 root 5 plus 8, our conjugate becomes root 5 minus 8. Okay, so your conjugate is simply changing the sign of the second term. Let's look at the following question. Rationalize the denominator 2 minus root 3 divided by 5 minus root 3. When you have two terms on your denominator, to rationalize your denominator, the first thing you must do is find the conjugate of your denominator. The conjugate of 5 minus root 3 is equal to 5 plus root 3. We then multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. This gives us 2 minus root 3 times 5 plus root 3 over 5 minus root 3 times 5 plus root 3. To rationalize our denominator, we'll expand our top and bottom and simplify. This gives us, on the top, 2 times 5 plus root 3 minus root 3 times 5 plus root 3. 
and on the bottom, 5 times 5 plus root 3 minus root 3 times 5 plus root 3. So I'm just expanding my brackets here. Okay, continue to expand your brackets and we get 10 plus 2 root 3 minus 5 root 3 minus root 3 times root 3 leaves us with minus 3. Divide it by 5 times 5 gives us 25. 5 times root 3 gives me 5 root 3. Minus root 3 times 5 gives me minus 5 root 3. Minus root 3 times root 3 gives me minus 3. Continue to simplify by adding together like terms. On the top we're left with 7 minus 3 root 3. And on the bottom we can see that our thirds cancel. 5 root 3s minus 5 root 3s gives us 0 root 3s. And adding together our like terms, 25 minus 3 leaves us with 22. Our third is written on the numerator and we have rationalized our denominator. Let's try another one. Rationalize the denominator 1 over 3 plus root 3. When you have two terms on the denominator, the first thing you must do is find the conjugate of your denominator. The conjugate of 3 plus root 3 is equal to 3 minus root 3. We now multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. This gives us 1 times 3 minus root 3 over 3 plus root 3 times 3 minus root 3. We're now going to expand and simplify. 1 times, looking at our top first, 1 times 3 gives us 3. 1 times minus root 3 gives us minus root 3. And on our bottom, expanding our brackets, we're left with 3 times 3 minus root 3 plus root 3 times 3 minus root 3. Continue to expand the bottom. 3 times 3 gives us 9. 3 times minus root 3 gives us minus 3 root 3. Plus root 3 times 3 gives me plus 3 root 3. And root 3 times minus root 3 leaves me with minus 3. Continue to simplify by adding together your like terms on your denominator. Here we can see that our thirds cancel. 3 root 3s minus 3 root 3s leaves us with 0 root 3s. And we're left with 3 minus root 3 all over 6. Please take down the following steps and example on how to rationalize your denominator.